Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this quick video, I'll show to you guys how you can schedule a meeting on Microsoft Teams. In this modern time and this Corona time, more and more we are having meetings online and now everyone needs to know how to create a meeting on Microsoft Teams. The steps actually are pretty easy. You just have to open your Microsoft Teams and then from the options on the left, regardless which Microsoft Teams you are using, Microsoft Teams from Office 2022 or Microsoft Teams from Office 365, regardless what version of Microsoft Teams you are using, you just need to find from the options on the left, calendar. So by default, normal is at chat, but you just have to find calendar and you click over it. And now on the right, you will see on top here, this option, which is new meeting. We click over here, new meeting, and now it will pop up this window where we configure all the settings regarding the meeting. Another way how you can schedule a meeting is by just clicking over the calendar, wherever you want, for example, to have your meeting. And let's suppose, for example, that I want the meeting to be on Monday at nine o'clock. I just click over here and here we are now, once again, Microsoft Teams will pop up this window where we put all the details regarding the meeting. So the first thing that we need to do, we have to define the title of the meeting. I'm just going to write at the title here, cybersecurity, for example, or whatever is the meeting that you are going to have. And then you go at this second field here where you have to define the emails or phone numbers of the other members that need to be on this meeting. So just for testing, I'm going to write my other email address, which is learntech with ad at gmail.com. Here we can write uh, the email addresses of our colleagues, for example. Also, you can invite the guests, but in case that you cannot invite guests to participate on this meeting, you need to check with your IT department to allow you to be able to invite guests. Guests are external users which are outside of your company they, and they don't have the same domain email address. For example, they don't have an email address which can be eddie at learntech.com, but they have another email which is eddie at uh, tech.com. So after we write the members of this meeting, then we go over here and we specify the time. So I'm going to choose 19 as the date and then the time I'm going to make it at 9 a.m. till 10 o'clock. You can write here also the time that you want so you can customize the time. You don't have just these options here on the list, but you can write, for example, 9.45. Once you write the time, you press enter and then here we are this meeting will be 45 minutes. If you want this meeting to be repeated, so you don't want this meeting only on this Monday and then that's it, but you want this meeting, for example, every Monday for every week, then you click over this list here. And from here, you need to choose weekly, monthly, yearly, however you want to repeat this meeting. Let's suppose that I want this meeting every week. So we click over weekly. So here we are. Now we can define how often we want this meeting. In this case, I will have it only on Monday and this will be repeated every week. You can also define an end date for this meetings, but in case that you leave it without selecting, it will not finish till you cancel this series of meetings. In case that you want this meeting to happen more than in one day, you just have to select another day here. For example, I want this to happen on Monday and on Friday. And once you are done by defining this, you just click over save. And here we are now it's showing this notification, which is saying occurs every Monday and Friday, starting from 19 September. Now over here, you have to define a location. You can just write a meeting room where you are going to have this meeting or you just right here online in case that the meeting is happening online. And then over here, you need to define some more details regarding the meeting. For example, it can be the agenda or whatever other options that you need to include on the details about the meeting. Once you finish setting up all these details, you just click over send 
and then this meeting will be created. Now it will pop up this small window which is saying how do you want to share this meeting and then you click over copy link and then you can use this link to share with other people that want to participate on this meeting but you didn't define when you created the meeting. And here we are now it's showing in my calendar the meetings and if you want to edit them you just click over it once and then it will show these options and you just click over edit and you can edit these meetings when it will happen and other details about it if you want to join you just click over join and you will join the meeting if you want to delete this meeting you just click with the right of the mouse over it and then you click over cancel and then you choose one of these options which is about occurrence and series of meetings. Now let's go to the email that received the invitation and let's see it. So here we are, the email that received the invitation will have all the details in order to join this meeting. And also it will pop up this small window on his email where he have to accept this meeting or to decline it. And in order to join, he just have to click here to join the meeting. So basically that's all that you have to do in order to create a meeting in Microsoft Teams. I hope that this video will help you to succeed on this topic and please do not forget to subscribe and wish to you all the best. Thank you.